Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about dividing polynomials. So if I was given this problem, p to the third minus 10p squared plus 20p plus 26 divided by p minus 5, okay? Well, I'm going to write this in long division form, so I'm going to take my p minus 5 here, p minus 5, how we go into my uh, so my divisor, my dividend, p to the third minus 10 of p squared plus 20p plus 26. Okay? So now I'm going to ask the question, well, what times p gives me p to the third? And that is just p squared. So p squared right there. p squared times p is p to the third. And p squared times a minus 5 is a minus 5p squared. So I'm going to subtract the two, top and the bottom there, boom, boom. P to the third minus P to the third, which is zero, and all we should cancel out. Minus 10P squared minus a negative 5P squared is like plus positive 5P squared, and just a minus 5P squared. Let's bring down the plus 20P right there, okay? And ask the same question again. What times P gives me a minus 5P squared? And that's a minus 5P, or minus a 5P, uh, yeah, minus 5P. Minus 5p times p is a minus 5p squared. And minus 5p times minus 5 is a positive 25p. We're going to subtract the 2, top from the bottom here. Uh, minus 5p squared minus a negative 5p squared is like adding a positive 5p squared. We'll make 0. 20p minus 25p is just a minus 5p. Let's bring down the 26. We're going to ask the same question again. What times p gives me minus 5p? And this one here is just a minus 5. Minus 5 times p is a minus 5p. And minus 5 times minus 5 is a plus 25. We subtract the 2, top and the bottom. Minus 5p's cancel. Uh, minus 5p minus minus 5p, which is the same exactly. Positive 5p, 0. 26 minus 25 is just 1. Okay? So our remainder is just 1 here. And so our final answer is just that p squared minus 5p minus 5, which is written right up there, plus 1, my remainder over my divisor, which is p minus 5, that is our final answer. So let's recap. We're given p to the third minus 10p squared plus 20p plus 26 divided by p minus, six, or p minus 5. I wrote it out how my divisor goes in my dividend, using long division. Then, ask myself some multiple questions. What times p gave me p to the third? p squared. Multiply to both parts, I got p to the third minus 5p squared. Subtract them, got minus 5p squared, brought down the 20p. Same thing. What times p gave me minus 5p squared? And that's a minus 5p. So I multiplied minus 5p to both parts there, got minus 5p squared plus 25p. Subtracted them, <coughs> ended up with a minus 5p here, brought down the 26. Same thing again. What times p gave me minus 5p? That's a minus 5. So minus 5 times p was minus 5p. And minus 5 times minus 5 is a positive 25. Subtracted so the 2. Got my remainder me to be a positive 1. And so my final answer here is that p squared minus 5p uh, minus 5, right there, plus my remainder 1 over my divisor p minus 5. And that is my final answer.